Hey, this is Michael Eric Brown, and I'm here today to show you something really cool with the iStat menus. Um, you know, those of you who have a Mac may have heard of this program. It's sort of a monitoring solution that uh, you can install, and as you can see here on my screen, I have the preferences up for it right now, and see that it'll look at CPU, memory drives, your network speeds, your temperatures, fans, and so forth. And uh, you can put these uh, up in your uh, menu bar to kind of monitor them live. Um, so, for instance, the first thing is the CPU. Um, Right here, and you can see what the cycles look like. What's you know pegging at the most right now? It's the screen capture program I'm using, um, and then you can go and look at the RAM and see you know how much is being used and uh, you know how much is free and what's using the most right now it happens to be Safari, <laughs> which uh, doesn't surprise me. And then uh, you know you can look at the temperatures and all that. And um, and incidentally, 124 degrees is not hot, so don't be like, "Oh, your machine's running kind of warm." It's not. Um, you know what's going on with the download and all that. I got some stuff going on with that right now, so there is a little bit of traffic. Um, and those are the main things that I keep an eye on. I don't bother, you know, looking at fan speeds and stuff. Um, but there's a really cool program that just came out um, not that long ago on the App Store for the iPod Touch and iPhone that allows you to monitor what's going on with your computer remotely. So I'm going to show you this here on my handy dandy iPod Touch and hopefully the camera quality here is good enough to at least show you what's happening. So I'll go to the iStat application here. I'll take a moment there and then it sees my computer which I've already um, kind of paired up with uh, this over here. You'll see there's something called iStat server and there's a little password that you have to type in in order to get it to work and you know that way some random person doesn't come on your network and start looking at what your machine's up to without your permission. So, but that's you know that's a free program. So is the regular iStat menu. Um, the one that goes on the iPhone and iPod Touch, however, is like it's either two or three dollars, and it's kind of worth it though. I'll show you once you click on that computer. It takes a moment, and this will show me the live stats of what's going on. So you know I have my CPU usage, uh, RAM. You know it does show me things like the hard drive and all that, although I don't really care. To know how much is free at any given moment, but um, you know you get your network speeds there, and uh, then here's all the temperatures. So it doesn't always perfectly line up. You see, it says um, 128 there and 126 on the screen. I don't know if there's a little bit of latency with that or or what, but uh, it's close enough. And the reason why this is handy is if I'm doing a video encode, you know something, whatever I want to put something up online, and I know it's going to take a while. I can step away go do something else and as long as you know I have this connected to it I can just go ahead and you know remotely tell what's going on with uh, my machine so whenever I see everything kind of calm down I know it's done I can go back and you know finish my work so in other words I don't have to keep an eye on it all the time um, you know it's sort of a geeky tool but I think it's really cool and to me it was worth the two or three dollars whatever it was um, and I didn't mind doing that anyway because I've been uh, using the iStat uh, menus program for free for so long anyway, you know, from the, the folks over at iSlayer who make that and make that available for free. I think that's really cool. To throw a few dollars their way after all this time didn't bother me. So, but like I said, I think that's neat. You know, this will show you the stats on, you know, your iPod or iPhone as well. This is not nearly as useful to me, but, um, you know, it's a cool little application. So, Give that a look if you have a Mac and uh, you're using the iStat menus and you also happen to have an iPod Touch or iPhone, you can go ahead and you know put the two together and uh, be able to remotely monitor. There are a lot of cool applications that do this now that allow you to interface with your Mac across a network or even uh, out of network if you uh, do some port forwarding. And uh, those are really cool and I may show you a couple more. There's, uh, there's a couple cool remote ones I found but I don't want to bog that all down in this video. We'll kind of leave it at that and just say that I like the iStat menu stuff. You guys should check it out. All right, talk to you later.